Welcome back to another episode of Big Sticks, guys. Today, I'll be pan frying beer battered rock cod that we caught on the charter boat yesterday. So if you're ready, I'm ready. Ain't nothing to it but to do it. Let's get to it. Okay, so we gotta clean up a few of these fillets. Now, what you're gonna notice here is that they left the skin on. And the purpose behind that is because you need to be able to determine the species. So if you get back to the dock and fishing game is waiting and you don't have this skin on, all the fillets look alike, they don't know if you took any legal rockfish or not. So, just gonna take the skin off and take off the, uh, the rib bones and get it ready for frying. A little heat on this blade. Take that skin right off. Feel where these, these rib bones are. Cut around them. Make sure that my kids don't eat no fish bones. All right, so that's good to go there. So that other one was a black. This one was a starry rockfish. Again, heat on the blade, taking off that skin. Let's cut away these rib bones here. I can feel a few, so go around them. That one came out pretty clean. We'll rinse these off, and then we're going to turn this into fish and chips. So we're just going to cut these into you know, little pieces that are more conducive to the shape of the pan. That way I can get a few more in there without feeling like I'm crowding it. Give this a rinse, get it battered up. Okay, so here's the next step. I got a cup and a quarter of just all-purpose flour. Just gonna dredge each one of these in the flour, shaking off the excess. Just wanna make, the, make it dry so that when you do create the beer batter, it sticks. That's over with. We're going to add a teaspoon of baking powder. Doesn't have to be super duper accurate, right? Just going to add a little bit of cracked black pepper. Dark beer. Today's choice, Anchor Steam. So, about an equal amount of beer to flour. So probably about a cup of beer. And you don't want it too thick and you don't want it too runny. So you want it to be just thin enough to crisp up when you fry it. And all these bubbles make for a very nice lathery and crispy crust that's light and not too crunchy. See that's a little thick still. Just gonna add a little bit more beer until I get that right consistency. Almost there, just a little bit more beer. There we go, that feels nice. So, just gonna throw the fish in here, get them covered. Alright, one last one here. We'll get that down in there. And I'll see you with the oil. Okay, best way to tell if your, if your oil is hot enough is to just put it in there, and if it floats right away, you're ready to go. So, we'll just 
shake off some excess and place it in the oil. This goes pretty fast. So only a couple minutes for each. It smells yummy. So here's the trick to keep your to keep your batter is to just brush some of the oil over the top so that when you do flip it it stays intact instead of coming off. You know you have those pieces that just look like it has no batter on it. That's usually what it's from. When you flip it, like after a couple minutes. looks like so. So we'll go for another two minutes on this side, flip it over to the other one last time, and then take it out and start with a new batch. Fish. So rockfish. So there's the last flip. Okay, and to keep them crisp when you take them out, all you simply want to do is put them on a wire cooling rack instead of laying them on a paper towel. Sure, the paper towel absorbs the oil, but it also sits there and steams and rests in that oil. And it gets soggy on one side. So if you want to keep crispy fish, this is how to do it. All right, so here's the best part about making beer battered fish, is that you get to drink the beer. Uh, and by the way, I choose Anchor Steam for its flavor. It lends a really nice flavor uh, to your beer batter. And we'll just take a fish here. I'm sure you could hear it. It's still juicy and succulent. It's not dry like some fish you would get at a restaurant. I just love it, especially fried like this. And I really like it with malt vinegar or even tartar sauce. That's real good. Mm. Oh, yes. Mm. Got a nice light crunch to it that's perfect. Tastes like, just like what you would expect to get at a pub. Got that Anchor Steam flavor popping off. Mm. And the fish, it's not overcooked. A couple minutes on each side until you get this nice golden brown. Comes out perfect every time. How's the fish? Good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The first two weeks of January, that galvanized approach, then we'll at least have a... <laughs> All right, so that's going to do it for me today, folks. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, and all that good stuff. Till next time, guys, from my kitchen to yours, Big Sticks out.